our camp routine is uh, is, is over. Uh, we're out of that uh, that mode, so it's kind of a mock game week, uh, but we're still doing a good amount of good on good uh, as well. A little bit of preparation for uh, for FAMU as well, but we'll get into that here uh, later in the week. The question everyone wants to know. Um, yeah. No, no, yeah, no, no answer today. Um, but uh, uh, I, I do like how all the guys that have been out there practicing and competing have have played. Um, we're still not where we need to be. Uh, we got a short amount of time to get there, but uh, uh, I think they'll be ready to play when they get the opportunity. Are you getting closer to that decision? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I do think we're getting closer to it. Absolutely. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, our practice reps are, are pretty similar. Um, you know, kind of uh, by day, uh, guys get an opportunity to go a little bit more with the ones than they do with the twos, but uh, that rotates from day to day. What kind of camp did Brandon Wynn return? <clears throat> Good. Uh, I thought he got better in his decision making as camp went on. I thought he got better in his fundamentals in the pocket, more comfortable. Uh, some of the things we're asking him to do with his feet. Um, you know, eye discipline was better as well. Dylan Gabriel for first time, kind of going through the whole camp process. Yeah, accurate. Um, was you know really consistent. Um, you know had a couple of days where he didn't maybe play his best, um, but uh, I thought he handled it and came back and and uh, rebounded the next day extremely well. Um, you know I like what he's been doing. Last one, Quadri. How do you view him? Yeah, um, continue to to really grow. You know I just think his his consistency and the way he's approached every day in the meeting room is. Uh, it, it's shown a lot of uh, maturity just from him, and, and uh, I think that speaks to when he gets his opportunity, taking advantage of it. What else you guys start working out, maybe some of the depth chart, not just quarterback, but other positions? Yeah, uh, toward, towards the end of this week, you know, that's when uh, everything will kind of get uh, more finalized. But, I mean, you guys know from a year ago, right, uh, early in the year, you know, some guys flourish under the lights, some guys, you know, struggled. Um, other guys earn more opportunities. It's it's constant throughout the entire season. You know, I talked to the team today, just <clears throat> where you're at today has no bearing on, on where you're going to finish the season. You control that with the, the way that you work and the way you prepare. So go take advantage of every opportunity. Looking back at uh, your second year preseason camp, you know, just kind of assess the entire process. Was it a good experience? Yeah, I, I thought, um, you know, one, we, we're, we came out of it pretty healthy. Uh, I think that's important. Got a lot of really good uh, physical work as well. Um, I think, you know, we're further ahead and as far as understanding our schemes, you know, coaches understanding our players as well, what their skill sets are than we were a year ago, which you should be in year two. Um, you know, but uh, I think we're continuing to grow and mature and, and uh, you know, leadership's got to continue to take a hold of this football team. Our, our kids got to have great purpose in the way they approach every day. Um, training camp is, is the last part of what I call the off season. Uh, you know, it's preseason, but um, you know, starting in January, spring ball, summer conditioning, your training camp. Now it is about taking advantage of every opportunity, preparing in a great way as you get into game week so that you can go play your best. Did anything surprise you? Did any unit or player make a step forward maybe you weren't sure about? Uh, I, I think there's a, bu a bunch of guys that, uh, that have done that. You know, there's some guys on special teams that um, a year ago uh, were on scout teams and competed, have had great off seasons. Um, they've earned the opportunity to go play uh, and have a role and, and, uh, and be a part of you know, what we're doing on the field and, and expect those guys to go play um, at a high level. And, and uh, um, you know, I think those guys on that, those units uh, are, were maybe as impressive as anything uh, during training camp. The competition of left tackle with Trevor Albert, Ed Collins, Tony Gray, how have you seen that progress? Uh, it's still, still battling. Um, all of them have played really well at times. Um, at the same time, not as consistent as, as we would want them to be yet. Um, but we're not in game week either. Uh, you know, I think during training camp, there's so much install that goes on, and you're seeing so many different looks from the other side of, of the line of scrimmage. Um, it gets it gets hard at the end of training camp because there's so much going on. Um, I think as you get into game week here, uh, once we get into fam, you truly, uh, the package shrinks a little bit, and, and hopefully they'll digest it a little bit better. Are you seeing a consistency out of one of your kickers who might be able to take advantage of that? Yeah, uh, uh, in all three positions, you know, uh, kicker, kickoff, uh, punt, snapper. Um, I feel pretty good about where we're at right now. What's your reaction to the preseason rankings having 17? I uh, didn't really know until I, you just told me. Uh, preseason absolutely means nothing. Uh, it's all about where you finish the season. So um, we're going to focus on, on this week, continuing to grow the football team, and, and then uh, end of the week, get into game week as we get ready for FAMU. What do you think fan expectations should be of this team this season? Uh, shoot, expect us to go out and play great football every single week. Um, you know, that's the same expectations every player and every coach has inside of our building. Do you see anxiousness from the guys to, to get a chance at 
I think you get to the end of training camp, everybody wants to go play. It's it's time to go play. Uh, in some respects, you need to go play to, to continue to grow. Um, but, uh, you know, our guys have worked extremely hard. You know, they're tired of hitting the same guy. I can promise you that. And uh, they're ready to get out there and go play. A year ago, you talked about being the hunters, not the hunted. Same yeah. mantra or different this season? Always. Um, you know, uh, I think our mentality is, is, is focus on us, compete hard every day, attack in everything that we're doing. Um, we're going to call it aggressive. We're going to coach aggressive. Uh, expect our players to play really aggressive on game day, too. That's that's who and what we got to be as a program. Do you guys have any sort of, once fall camp is done, do you guys have anything that's sort of team building maybe off the field maybe to kind of celebrate that or, or anything maybe to get ready for the season? Uh, we've, done, we've done different events throughout training camp, you know what I mean, to kind of just, you know, have fun, break up the monotony. And, and um, you know, we'll continue to do that here before we get in game week. Thank you, Coach. Hopefully I don't get.